I believe in music. It's a long time coming. When I wrote it, it was a couple of things going on, but music has always been there. I mean, ever since I was a little boy, that's that's always been my refuge. And I think all artists are like that. This, you know, no matter in, how introverted I get, it's like uh, I can always get in my own world with the music, or if it's a painter, I imagine with that painting, and that's that's mine. And then this project. I, I encompassed everything because as I'm getting a little more mature, <laughs> I'm realizing that that uh, I won't be doing this forever, so I wanted to document it. And at the same time, I'm noticing my daughters, who are so talented as, as artists, but they're talented as writers also. Like the song that Gina wrote that's on there, Worth the Wait. She, she wrote that when she was like 16 years old, and we're just now recording it. Chloe. It was in the process of uh, trying to get in touch with different A&R people in Los Angeles. And she just, off top of her, I never even knew she could write. She wrote this, the, the ballerina song. She wrote that, I don't know, in an afternoon because of this producer asked her to write something. And it tripped me out, you know. I didn't know she could write. Lonnie, on the other hand, now here's, I mean, if, if I had anybody that I, that I can be more like, it'd be, she just does whatever she feels like doing. Very good. She's studying to be a doctor. She wants nothing to do with this kind of life. If I can get her to perform this song, it'll be a miracle. The, the rap. She's the one that wrote, Jazz is the heart and the soul of Kansas City. And I thought, God, this kid is so spontaneously good. So I asked her to write me a rap about Kansas City Jazz. Two days later, this is what happened, and I think she was about, uh, Lonnie must have been about 17 when she wrote that, maybe 16, yeah. Not a kid anymore, got kids of my own, got my first grandkid, I thought, start thinking I want to leave something. And you know, everybody has a story to tell about everybody else. I wanted to have something documented of what I do, so I went back. When I had this band, Lonnie and the band, we used to do In the Basement. <laughs> You know, and, and so I, I went back and I put that back together. Then I still started thinking about all these other songs that I do. And, and it's ironic because even when, when we started having the McFadden Brothers, I still thought like I did with the band. Still had that basic same way of thinking when, when I started putting songs together for Ronald and I. And so it was like this. The first song I believe that I wrote for Ronald and I was this. Oh, it was my time. It was my time. And, and it's that same concept, you know, the bass line, in my opinion, is like a, a counter to the melody. So I'm thinking, ba ba doo ba and I'm hearing the, the rhythm section grooving, so the... Then you got something like El Monte Cristo. That's ba ba da. It's the groove. It's it's just a laid back thing. It's more of an attitude thing, and that's that's uh, again. It's kind of got that that Latino kind of thing in it. It's, I grew up listening to Rafael Mendez, just like I grew up listening to Dizzy Gillespie and Louis and so I've always had a little bit of that in me and as a as a trumpet influence. And that's that's definitely a part of the way I think. It's got that dark, uh, you know, like a guy riding through through town in in a sombrero, you know, and and he's got a raw thing about him. Well, this song is it's, it's kinda interesting the way it, it, it because it started off from me trying to figure out the chord changes to this this jazz song I was messing with and I woke, it woke me up I kept thinking about it I just got this piano and, and I said let me go in here and mess with this I'm like I don't know 9 o'clock in the morning so, so I, um, I came and I, I kept hitting the wrong chords and I, I liked it I was, I was like yeah and the way
way it felt, it just felt so calm, and it was it calming. It had, you know, that kind of effect. And it was like, it reflected everything that I was going through at the time, you know, because everything was just so great. I just started this relationship with the lady that I'm now married to. Wow. And before I knew it, Lonnie was this or Lonnie was that and some of it will be way better than I ever was some of it will be way more derogatory than I really want anybody speaking of my music but this is this is it at this point so this is the things that I wrote up to this point some of them are very new like like our first date in El Monte Cristo and some of them go back to the very beginning in the basement first song I ever wrote that's that was I was 17 years old. I believe the music's what sets us apart from the You know, when you hear us do it, it'll be the Mark playing, which will make it sound unbelievable. Andrew or Ryan, they, all of them are great piano players. Donovan will be on drums, and more than likely it'll be Tony, Tyrone, or Ben, or Zach playing bass. All of these are great bass players, but again, that's the only reason I did it all, because I, I wasn't able to get everybody together enough to do because we didn't get a chance to work all this out. So I believe in music. That's where it's at. What you up to, man? <laughs> 